we are gonna find out right now because we are dropping in. There is no more awaiting. And we're gonna see the spear indeed. And he's gonna be the first one to get that weapon drop. The Fiend gonna go ahead and go ahead and break off onto Blitz. But Blitz getting some early damage trying to build up on that Lance already. I mean, that's a controlled weapon, right? You play it in the mid stage. I, I love the way that we see players do this. They play that middle ground, especially with Holgrim, as he's just a controlling character. He sets the tone in matches. Now, Fiend did not go with the Kyle like I thought. Goes with the Queen. That's nice. I know. And it, you know, I've kind of joked about it, you know, because we talk about how good um, Spear and guitars are. Um, I was kind of joking, like, are we going to see some Nye? Like, why am I not seeing her top 8, top 16 if these weapons were so good? And I leave it to Fiend to go ahead and pick it up and pull her out. I mean, when, when we do see this region, we do see Nye. Nye does come out in uh, South America. I've seen her a few times. I'm not going to act like she's super prevalent. Right, we right. do see the stock of Fiend fall. Blitz still holding on here after getting juggled by a team combo. He's just still alive. Look at this. Sack having trouble on the side of the stage. Trying to go for the oh, carry. Oh, that Damn, bro. What are you doing? He, he wasted it. He tried to put the gravity cancel too. Like, I get it. You wanted to go for the, right, the right. zero to death, right? But just an unfortunate situation. Now you give them a chance to try to run it back. You still got a lead here out on the side of the stage. Sack gets back on there with both in hand. Now that that uh, that pogo that dare off of Spear is one of the most disrespectful moves in Brawlhalla, man. Straight up, <laughs> it, it just it hits so different. Fiend though getting a little bit of trouble here, trying to get out of that recovery. He does. Oh, the down sig, laying him flat, left, right, stocks have fallen, and a blue team had taken a bit of a lead here. That was absolutely perfect place. My dude, spot dodge. It was so anime, right? He spot dodge and just both sides of him. Wow. It's like, a, I don't know if you're a Dragon Ball fan. I can't remember which movie that is. Oh, yeah, The World's Strongest. When Goku dodges both those dudes, shoop, shoop, and then he gets both sides. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, cling. <laughs> <laughs> Fiend trying to get a weapon here. Nothing to be found. It's on the other side of the map, but he's able to go ahead and sneak his way back over there, but not before getting picked up by that recovery off of those boots from Addy Mestic. And this is going to come down to Blitz again. He's just he always seems to be that wild card since we've been watching him play these last couple sets. And really doing a good job of keeping his team in here. Addy Mestic, another recovery coming up. A big, a heavy on the sack. Fiend being sent out, and he is done for this game. Oh, he. <laughs> He charged it up, hoping to get lucky. Sack is going to get back up on stage, though. Picks up the signature. Bro. No, I'm done. He did not. <laughs> he, really, he, he hit him with the pow pow, bro. Bro. Man. Is he, like, so, he, like, he put this into, it, it looked like an insurmountable situation. He oh, put yeah. this into a situation where he can definitely, definitely win this. No, this is crazy. His character has a great stat line, two great weapons, racked up damage. Nice combination. Four clean, unanswered hits. Good job with the gravity catch sideline sack. Harassing Blitz. Oh, yeah. Can't get anything going. No. Sweat beats are here. Another oh. one. Another nair. Now if he can stay out of the way of that lands, this action be in good shape. And no, as soon as that lands come out, the Sarah gonna take him out. He's gonna get the easy a knockout. And it's gonna go ahead and put them up. Game number one. I mean, if I was a betting man, that would not have been who I would have guessed to win that game number one. Not at all. No, no, when we went into that. But I will say, Blitz is the pillar of that team, dude. And he is really holding strong. And, and I think if you're going to be the Ogrim on the team, like that's, I've always talked about this, that character, you play him strong in the middle of the stage and you keep your stocks. That's all you have to do. Tank. And, and you tank. You just keep your stocks and you put on damage. He hits so hard. Yeah. So you don't have to chase and go for kills. Your teammate can clean up. You just eat hits and do damage. And you have so much, so much range. You can you get know in, what I'm you saying? can follow up on everything. Yeah, absolutely. And, and absolutely. he's doing exactly that. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to do with his character and is putting them in positions to win this set. Now, at the end there, I definitely wanted to see Sack take that one, but it's great to see, like I said, always go for the underdog. Great to see Blitz and Addy Mestic uh, take that first game. No, that was a heck of a game for sure. We're going to see if Fiend and Sack have an answer um, for what just went down in game number one. We're seeing Fiend get straight to work on uh, that spear, trying to get some aerials in there, coming back to ground and just meets a uh, D-Sig off that Ulgrim Axe. Sack there, nice way to come in, come in there and take the pressure off his teammate. Blitz trying to clean up again, but Fiend's got him in the air. He might be in big trouble, Fiend, though. Sweat Beat's coming out, and he's got to come back down stage. That was a nice sway to the right from Blitz to survive and said, now we're back in my territory. Lands of recovery, and he got Fiend up out of there. So early lead for these boys. But we do see Sack barely has any damage on. Blue team both really, really hurt. Side Signature's going to take care of Blitz first stock. And now, Addy Mestic out there alone. Side of stage, dodge through. He's good. 
Yeah, Fina has got to get something going here. He is dull. Well, hey, oh, no, no, hey. no, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> oh, my heart skipped a beat, bro. Fiend was in so much trouble there, staying just out of the way of uh, that recovery and able to get back down to stage. He has got to hold on to the second stock, but Blitz is kind of hurting on his second stock as well, and Sack's putting the pressure over on the right side and going to eat a weapon throw to the face. Yeah, Blitz is definitely hurting at this time. Now, when I talk about him being the pillar, he's definitely not the one that can lose his stock early right now. He's got to make quick work of Fiend or at least get Sack stock out of there. Lands a Sarah on the Fiend, not able to chase those. Sack comes over, coverage with the down sig and catches the recovery on to Addy Mastic. And Blitz, another down sig. He catches him, and there it is. This is a huge lead for the South American board. Yeah, and Sack allowed to get back up on stage and continuing to rack up some bonus damage. He's going to be taken out with that Axe Aerial. Blitz going to go ahead and knock Glenn out of there. But Red Team looking a little better at this time, but there we go. Again, a fiend losing that stock, putting himself. Oh! They just took Sack out, and now Blue Team is a smoothing their way into a 2 0 advantage against Sack and Fiend, bro. I, I, I wish y'all could see my man zip right now. He is literally flabbergasted by what he is witnessing right now. I'm like, I'm telling you, going into this, <laughs> I did not see this happening. It's like, it's weird because I'm not super surprised. They're great players. Right. Like, Addy Messick and Blitz, I mean, we talked about them, we've known them, and it's not like they haven't seen the competitive light like this. Right, right. But geez, dude, so much high expectation, so much yeah. pressure is on, the, uh, so many things are on the line for for the South American boy. Side C, gonna get Blitz now. Okay. Now it's coming back into the favor of the South American boy. That one stock each, so 1v2 situation. And I mean, these two characters together really do have good combo potential. They really do. And if I'm blue team, I was, I'm hoping that it was Blitz in the situation and not Addy Messick. We haven't seen that 2v1 situation, but going up against Fiend and Sack. And like you said, the, the, the team combo potential um, from the, this weapon set. And Addy Messick isn't even going to be able to touch the ground. They absolutely just bodied him up, sent him out, said go next, going to tie it up going into game number three. Hey, they say you can't get grounded, you're getting hounded. Put him out there on the side of the stage. I like so it, I like it. You're not coming back, my boy. All right, so we got 1-1. One, one. That was a great game. That one was a teeter-totter. It went back and yeah. forth. We didn't know which way that one was going. Yeah, so, wait, teeter-totter or tug-of-war? Which one are we going with? I mean, we, we can do a teeter-totter. We can do um, a tug-of-war. I mean, I guess we'll, we'll just, you know what? We'll just go based off the feeling. We'll just we'll just go whatever is hitting us in the moment, uh -huh. and we'll just let it flow, Zip. We'll just let it flow. <laughs> right on, right on. Man, letting it flow straight into game number three. These guys, man, look at them locked in. I mean, I feel like uh, I feel like uh, Bliss is a little bit more locked than Addy Mastic. He, he's got to be feeling looks good. looks so comfortable. He, but they got to be feeling good. I I, I, I just can't believe that, that they were able to take that first game. And but we did see the transition. I mean, Fiend. He, I, I, I never I never like to talk crap about him, my boys. He's very he's very streaky. He'll have, he'll have tournaments where he is just on and he is unstoppable and then he just has days where, you know, he barely even hits top 16. And it's all about what kind of day Fiend is having. And we saw he had a rough time in that last game. And for them to be able to continue on in this set, Fiend is going to have to step it up and get a little more out of his stocks going into the rest of the set. Yeah, everything he did really was a play off of Sack and Anger. So, like, I mean, that's great teamwork. It is 2v2. Right. Uh, you know, but if you talk about a, a player like Fiend, Fiend is one of the best. And like you said, he, he's one of those guys that really gets in his own head. It's because... I don't know if it's the young factor or what, but whenever you see him offline, a huge factor of esports is your mental. And you can see in his face when he feels defeated. That's not something you can really have. Uh, and, but when he's on, he's on, and you can see the excitement and the, yeah. the, uh, the, the lock-in, right? Like, he's ready to go. So we'll see if he can find that morale boost within himself. But they have a good start here. Sack out on the side of the stage, Fiend in there in the middle by himself. There it is. Side sig, and there we go. He's starting off putting some on for his team. All right, and Red Team, as, as Zip said, getting off to a good start here. Sack going to be sent out, and now we're here. We're seeing the reverse. Fiend now being the healthiest on the board here and definitely on his team, staying out of the way of that recovery off the axe and going to go to work on this Tesca. Going to throw the nares up, reaching for it, can't find it. Looking forward to the dare again. Sack's going to go ahead. You say he's missing the first. Let me pass it back over to you, man. Here you go, here you go. Right, here you go. Set him up nice. Adam has to get a pretty good bit of damage there. 
Uh, so he's the most damaged player on the board right now. Blitz still holding on to that first stock. Pogo. We got. Oh, nice. I'm not, I like that fast fall off to the side. Yeah. Didn't want to get set up for a recovery or anything like that. Oh my gosh, that what a punch. Pogo, bro. It, it hurts me every time I see it. You saw Blitz. He was looking. He had the axe. He was looking for that down sink. He was trying to get everybody in around him, just like, I'm going to hit everybody. And it ended up not working out for him and getting taken off. And Fiend now going to put some side pressure over. Blitz going to be able to get his way back on stage. But Sack right there to put some pressure nobody able to put any hands on blitz here yeah not really I haven't done too much too much to him but adding massive was super hurt he finally gets taken out sack following right behind even game goes for the ground pound and blitz oh. said what do you think you're doing my boy he dodges through he's able to make it oh my gosh both blue team players Oh, Addy Mastic, the movement and groovement, utilizing the chase dodge to sneak past both players. He's going to hold on to this last stock. That was wild. I thought I, he was tough. Yeah, that, that, that moment, that interaction was absolutely insane, the way that that broke down. He keeps reaching with that neutral sink. He's like, I'm going to get it eventually. Somebody's going to jump into it. Now, red team. Oh, Dang. Fiend, where did he go? The stock is gone. He SD'd off the side, didn't have any more options. And now Sack is... Oh, very deep into red, uh, close to be losing the stock, especially one Sare off that Algram Axe. It's going to be a wrap on that stock. He's trying to get some in, though, before he gets sent off. Yeah, you saw Blitz just fish for that Sare right uh -huh. there. That would have de definitely would have been the stock. Uh -huh. Oh, Sack, though. They're letting him work. They're letting him play the aerial game with the bow and racking up damage with it. They still can't catch him. That speed off the Kaya. Every time he swings and misses, and Addy and Mestic are being taken out. And now we get that 2v1 situation. And Fiend doing exactly what he needed to do and is still the healthiest on the board. Exactly. I mean, and it's weird that he wouldn't have a lot of health, right? He's, still, he's got a lot of defense. So, yeah, he's, he's queen eye. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, so it makes more sense that it would turn out in this way. Now, ooh, oh. nice weapon toss. Uh, I don't know about going back down out there. After he threw the weapon up, he could have made it back. Nice way to play around him. He's still here. <laughs> he's still standing. He's, he's still, still strong. <laughs> He's trying to get that gimp, trying to force them down. He has such a wide range off that axe. Didn't work out, but the man definitely had knew what he was doing, definitely had a plan, just wasn't quite enough. And um, Fiend and Sack are now going to go up 2-1, going into game number four. <sighs> man, this is a tussle, dude. Yeah, they scrapping, bro. They are scrapping. They, they squabbling out here. <laughs> the boys going to get into it. Uh, all right, so coming in this next game. Now, I, I, I talked about I don't like the late switches, but do you think we will see a switch? They're having conversation. They're debating something. I don't know if they're coming up with a game plan or figuring out if they need to go to a certain map, go to certain characters. What, what do you think? Blitz needs to stay on the Algrim. Oh yeah, for sure. Blitz needs to stay on the Algrim. Um, I don't, I just, and I say that just because I'm not really familiar with what his other um, picks are, but the way he's playing with that Landslide Axe right now, he, he's getting work done. And it's been pivotal for his team um, in last set and this set when they got that first game. Um, something needs to change over there because uh, South America, the South American red team has them figured out. Mm -hmm. And what we, we have seen it the last two games. It's been pretty much all about um, Fiend and Sack. So some adjustments are definitely have to be made from blue side. Um, maybe um, Addy uh, will make a switch to something a little more effective here. We'll see, we'll see. You know, hopefully they do stick with the characters they have and come up with a, a new game plan. Make, maybe make one of the two players their focal point in the beginning. Because right now, it's like they're just spreading the game out. I don't know if it's the way that South America, uh, the, they're playing right now, Fiend and Sack. I don't know if it's the way they're playing that's causing the 1v1 situations and not even allowing them to play their team dynamic. Or if they're choosing to fight the 1v1s, right? So, We'll see what happens going into this next one. If they can decide which player they want to hone in on and uh, maybe start whittling down those stocks. Because right, those right. two together on the board, they're not doing a good job. Right? No, not at all. And we're, see, I didn't know he's going to stick to that Tesca. Um, he's definitely feeling the boots. And Sack already getting all, all over him. But Blitz going to go ahead and break up that and try and uh, get his teammate out of that pitfall that he got himself in. Sack there reached up with those nares. Just nair after nair after nair off that spear. I mean, the aerial kit off his spear right now is just absolutely insane. Hit him with another one. <laughs> Try to get that recovery in there. Uh, kind of got a kind of got a kickback off of it. And we're just going to break down into neutral here. Sack chases Blitz up to the top of the map. So I'm seeing a little something early in this game. I think I got a little understanding. It's looking like they want to play the help game. Every time Addy Mastic gets touched, 
blitz is coming over there with the swiftness and getting them getting them off he's getting team damage but he's he's making sure he's covering his teammate nice there's another one right that's team damage they're not so worried about hitting each other it's looking a little different this game we have a pretty even one blitz is still holding on to that first stock and he did just to lose the first stock first but i like what i'm seeing to start this yeah, absolutely. It's definitely looking a little better. Um, they've been able to take care of Fiend here. No, the signature are going to come out. Um, the, the, the the Queen Nye effect, bro. Um, being able to come through and uh, throw those signatures down there. I'm um, going to go ahead and take them off in a sack. And now Hat is uh, the healthiest on the map here. Uh, but they are going for it there. That Sayer is going to go ahead and get him out of here. And now Addy Mez is going to try and rack some damage up on Fiend. He's going to come back up with the recovery. And, and now they're juggling Addy up in the air. He doesn't have a weapon. A sack is going to take it from him. He's still unarmed. I'm seeing a lot more unity in the blue team. I'm, yeah. I'm really seeing in the play. Nice way to make it back on stage. Blitz, second stop. Both these guys are really, really hurt, though. I cannot believe Addy Vestic did not get punished for that side thing. Let me down. He's working. They definitely, I mean, it's now or never. They got to get it done. That stock is going to come off Addy Mestic. There goes a blitz and a red team. It's got a pretty comfortable lead. They, they, can't, they can't be unhappy with uh, what they got set up right now. We saw a change in the defense, man, but like I said, it's just those two together, yeah. if you allow them any space to operate, they're going to capitalize and make team combos happen at any time, even if it's two to three hits. They're just getting too much damage and closing stocks efficiently like that one right there. Addy Mastic falling on barely. I mean, he was on bright red orange. He wasn't even on full red. And now we got a 1v3 coming yeah. up right here. This is going to be rough stuff. Yeah, that's Looks like lands. That's a lot of a lot of mountain to climb for Blitz here. Gonna go ahead and get that stock off of Sack a bit. Sack's gonna come in, refresh, looking uh, all nice. And now Blitz is gonna try and do, uh, try and get them to come over off stage, try and get some sort of gimp together here. Yeah, I get he wants it. They're not coming over there, bro. No. They're like, bro, get, get back up here. There's five <laughs> minutes on the clock, bro. You come up here. <laughs> right. <laughs> get your behind up here, man. I ain't coming over there. What you doing? Oh, oh, he found a foothold, though. He's trying to rack up that damage, a little team damage, coming off a sack on the Fiend. They, can, they can't touch him. My, 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 my man is sneaky. Yeah, these guys are too high level. You do anything where you're going to put yourself in place for a moment, you're yeah. going to get punished. So he's going to... Okay. No. Oop, tried the pogo again. Nice dip it. He's... Ooh, he leaked back up there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is beautiful play. The uh, pogo. Oh, uh, and he couldn't get around the weapon toss. <laughs> beautiful set from both teams. I like it. I like it. They put up a scrap, man. It's just... Over time, we just watched Fina Sack get better and better yeah. throughout that set. And that's that experience. They've been around so many years and just, you know, playing against somebody, okay, here's our play style, here's what we need to do. Make the change. It's just, it's, it's,